friends in this video we will see how to geo reference scan topos i have already discussed how to download this scan topos in the previous video the link for that video is given in the description so i am having that topos is downloaded here see once you are adding this data it will show a prompt for unknown special reference so just click okay now you see we are having at least four lat long given at each corner how to geo reference it first you have to get your geo reference tool see we have to check this one and in the geo referencing tool you will find your data we have to add all these four known net law to geo reference the scan to process so just you have to zoom in to one corner and go to add control point and click at the middle this will be a left click and then right click it to add x and y so you have to write the x and y you can write like this is 73 degree and 30 minutes you can write as 73.5 so since 30 minute is in decimal degree it will be 0.5 and for y this is uh, latitude it is 90 so you can write 90 or 90.0 and click okay then again you go to this full string and then it's better to go to the opposite corner for the second control point and click first left click and then right click and then input x and y so the x is 75.0 and y is 18.0 and click ok it will disappear you have to make it full extent again now we will be adding the third point left click and then right click input x and y so now it will be showing the approximate value for the x and y you have to correct it since it is 73.50 and this is 18.0 Okay. Now the last one. Click left, then right. See, it is giving the approximate value, but we have to correct it. This is seventy-five, and this nineteen. Then I continue. So see, it is showing some errors. Some shift is there, and if you visualize the control point, this one, and you can see, see the error here. So this error is okay for us. If you find some error is bigger, then you can like the fourth one again. Where is the maximum error? Maximum error is in the Fourth, so you can delete now. In this, you can just select it and delete it. It will be gone. See, it is gone. We can add it again. Seventy-five and ninety. Okay. So leave it. This is this is okay for us. This much error is okay. Because it is orange to the star scale map. Now, once you have added all the four corners, you go to geo referencing and click here geo referencing and then rectify it. You have to give the output location and name. Just select the output location and give the name. So maybe I am giving name Topo. and the format is diff say now we will close it and open a new map document okay. and we are not saving it now go to the 
image see this is topo dot tiff if you are adding it again it will be showing no spatial reference so click ok then you have to define now project first we have to give the projection of gcs only not in projection system it, will, it should be in gc geographical coordinate system so go to the uh, data management tool then projection and then define projection select the updated rectified image the topo dot if and then see coordinate system is showing unknown you have to give geographic coordinate system So go to geographic coordinate system, word and select the WS84 data and click OK. So now it is completed. Now it is in daily decimal. This is how we can georeference and topos. Now since this is in GCS, now you can now you can go for reprojecting it in, into a projection system. For that you go to the toolbox and then data management tool and then projection transformation and you see one raster is there one tool here also you have to click the plus sign and there is a project raster so take this tool and give the input raster so input raster is topotic and you see the input coordinate system it is showing GCS WGS 84. Now, since it will be a new image, so Topo, we have to give the new name for this. Like I am giving Topo underscore UTM. Since I am going to reproject it in UTM system. And then it is asking output coordinate system. So you can give the projected coordinate system. You have to click here, then go to UTM, then in the UTM you find WGS84 and since it is in Northern Hemisphere, I am selecting Northern Hemisphere and this is this image is of Pune, it will fall in 43, so you have to select this WGS84 UTM Zone 43 North, you click OK. Now it will asking the X and Y size, means Special resolution. So you have to give some special resolution in which you want to save it. So suppose you want to save it in 30 meter, you give the X and Y in 30 and you click OK. So once completed, now it, this this image is in UTM. You can see the property source and you will see. The special reference is WGS84 UTM zone 43 North. So this is how we can uh, we can georeference as can opposite and then reproject.